great fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Dread Fun here, uh, and this is, uh, as you can see, Dread Fun's childhood misadventure number one, bathtub surfer. As a kid, I strived to uh, get myself into all kinds of trouble. Uh, my mom strived to keep me safe. So uh, some of these uh, little stories slash time lapse uh, things I'm doing are, you know, in homage to real life uh, occurrences that happened as a child. Uh, in this image, you can see I'm sitting on the toilet doing my business. I'm uh, looking over at a bottle of uh, green palm olive uh, uh, soap that you would use for your dishes. Uh, this is an actual event. Uh, I'm not lying. This really did happen. I was really uh, sitting on the toilet and thinking, you know what? I, I would like to do something adventurous. And as you can tell, here I am as young Dread Fun. I've got it in my head that, well, you equal me, the young boy, and you add the, the green palm olive soap and you add a bathtub and that equals surf time. So I got it in my head that uh, if I took this palm olive dish soap and squirted it all over the tub and uh, got enough momentum and got in the right angle that if I, if, I, if I jumped and hit the side of the tub I would literally, as you see right there, surf around the bathtub. I figured I would go like 10 to 20, maybe 30 times. I'd just be like zing, 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 and it'd be a lot of fun. Um, you're already can tell that, uh, and even by the title, that uh, you know it's a misadventure, so I don't want to ruin it, but things didn't exactly work out as planned. Uh, in the next illustration, you can see, uh, um, again, this was one of the few times my mom left me unsupervised as a young boy. I think I was maybe five, maybe, maybe even younger. I think it was before my sister was born, so I might have been four. And uh, there I am, yeah, I squirted uh, the green stuff all over the side of the tub. And our, uh, our toilet was located right beside it, so I got up on there, and um, you'll notice I'm in my, my uh, underwear in all these images. Uh, unfortunately, in the real life story, I was buck naked, but I didn't feel like drawing my little pee-pee. So uh, <laughs> I, I put some knickers on me. Uh, for those of you that don't know what knickers are, I mean underwear. So yeah, and here I am. This is the moment I step off the ledge and I find out if my madcap adventure comes true, and, well, it didn't. Um, basically, uh, what happened is exactly what any person with common sense would know comes next. And that's, uh, I would have jumped off the toilet, built up just enough momentum to slip out from underneath the bathtub. I uh, got the green stuff all over my feet, and then uh, I ended up cracking my skull off the toilet uh, dispenser rack and uh, required, I think it was anywhere from six to ten stitches. So, um, yeah, it, it was a painful experience. I learned that maybe uh, I should listen to my mom. And as you can see, here I am being escorted out uh, from the local hospital. This is a caricature of what my mother looked like when I was younger, or how I imagine her in comic book form. And uh, here we are. Uh, a lot of these dread fun misadventures are going to happen exactly like this, uh, because that's exactly how they happen in real life. Uh, I would get myself in a whole load of trouble trouble. My mother would uh, vow to keep a better eye on me and uh, inevitably I would end up having to be rushed to the hospital to receive stitches. Um, I mean there was an incident uh, that involved some, uh, a sling and a washing machine. That's going to be interesting to tell. Um, like I said, this is, this is the truth. I'm not trying to gussy it up. I mean I, I can't really remember if I wore a plaid shirt and obviously the hospital wasn't, didn't look anything like that. And, but uh, you know, it's just me trying to honor my mother and uh, her recent passing and some of the good times we had. Anyways, Dread Fun out. This has been a DreadFun.com production. Thanks for watching.